Hello and welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Pahiniak, and in this video, I am going to show you the improved features of the Paragraph Styles panel here in Photoshop CS 6.1. If you remember, Paragraph Styles and Character Styles was introduced in CS 6, but now we have a new feature, and with that, we can synchronize styles between different Photoshop documents and that is a huge time saver. Let me show you how it can be used. I have a project here, a music player, which I designed for a mobile and also for a desktop interface. As you can see, in the desktop platform my fonts are completely messed up, while here in the mobile it's nice and consistent. I would like to use the same in the desktop version. So, I'm here in the mobile Photoshop file, and I'm going to select first this font, uh, which will be my song title style. So I'm just make sure it's selected. And then I come to the paragraph styles panel and click on new. Once I have the style, I can double click on it and I can call this song title. And as you can see, it's already saved. Font family, font style and so on and so forth. So I can click on OK. Now I would like to save the price style as well. I'm going to click again on new double click on it and that will be my price. I click on OK. So now we have the two paragraph styles and now it will be consistent in this document but what if I want to use exactly the same in another document? All I need to do is go to the drop down menu of the paragraph styles panel and choose this new feature save default type styles. What will happen is that this option will save whatever I have in the paragraph styles panel. Okay, so now if I go to the desktop uh, PSD file, first I won't see anything in the paragraph styles panel, but if I go to the drop down and I choose load default type styles, I will receive the ones that I saved in the other document. So from now on, this will be my default style uh, set. So now I can use the move tool, command click on the song title and choose song title and this little plus sign shows me that it's not exactly the same so if I want to clear the overrides I just need to click on this icon here at the bottom and as you can see it's already used exactly the same style as it was defined in the previous Photoshop document so let me just select this one as well song title override and the ready to bounce font is also uh, set to the style that I want to use and then I can even select several type layers as well. I would like to set all these four layers to the price style. So I will override them. And as you can see now, it, it's all using exactly the same font as in the previous Photoshop document. So this feature can save a lot of time when you have to work with a lot of text, especially for web designers and user interface designers. This will be a huge help.